Everything a thousand, nigga, yeah, we gon' eat. I'm from Florida, we ride forges and brigaders on our seat. Yeah, I throw what the north, but you know I'm from the east. Young fly, nigga, spend a couple bands on our feet. Lot of pressure up in prison, and you know he drippin'. Gave my other cousin 30, man, that I forgot to mention. They hatin' on the squad, yeah, you can feel the tension. We stackin' up them racks, and that's something that they missin'. What's out the scale, nigga, yeah, it's time to talk the digits. We bustin' down bells, nigga, the same size as midgets. And if I bust a cell, then you know I make a Back again with another one. Florida Boy Podcast. Your boy Mexico Mike. You boy Turf on Play. Yeah. What's up, man? How the week was? How your week was, nigga? That bit was long. A long week, huh? That bit was very long. Yeah. Glad to be back in the in the goddamn yo. Yeah. Away yep. from all the bullshit, man. Yeah, come here. This is like a little little space. This is like another life away from life. You feel know I me? Mean? So. Another thing to get away. This is what we doing now. We trying to make it full time where this is all we doing. Damn right. This, this yeah, be- man. So music normally drop on Fridays. Ain't nobody really dropped this Friday. I think like NBA Youngboy dropped something. You still killing him? I don't know. I ain't even listened to it. Yeah, man. Ain't, ain't nobody really dropped. He probably like the biggest name that dropped this week. But be having too many songs, I, feel, I feel like bro. music getting slower and slower, bro. Like, yeah, it's starting to the whole the whole scene is starting to slow down. Period. Bro. Like, not not that many people dropping. Cause you know when we was jits, bro, we had mixtapes, but mix so, CDs and shit. Yeah, so we could put all of our favorites on on one and just ride out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could do it now. I guess they call it playlists now. You could make your own little playlist. And, and do that. I still I know this girl who can still do the uh the flash drives and shit. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. She yeah, she yeah, write yeah. flash drives and shit. Yeah, that's that's but, that's that was back in the day. That's like you went from your mix CDs to the flash drives, then you got an iPod. Then I stole a lot of them back in the day. <laughs> so now Yeah. Now now it's your phone. You do everything on your phone, make a little playlist, play whatever. But, but yeah, music's starting to slow down, dog. I don't know what's going on. It ain't on. like it used to be, dog. Music it ain't, ain't really. Everybody just dropping like singles. I listen to a lot of old shit. Yeah, got a to. A lot of the old shit. Got to. If you, you if you if you don't and you listen to these new people, you're gonna get lost. Yeah. Get lost in the sauce. Before you know that's it. That's how you know we old, nigga. Yeah, yeah, you know we getting old. <laughs> So you tell somebody about someone we, that we used to listen to, like what? Like, yeah, what? yeah, they still sleep on Ludacris. Like Ludacris wasn't that nigga. Yeah, Luda, very underrated. I think I had one of his CDs. I forgot which one I had. I think it was Word of Mouth. Mm. That's the one with that's, that's, Saturday on it and all that shit. You know, Southern uh, Southern Hospitality. Southern Hospitality. Yeah, that. Yeah. That's the one that had hole on it. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that shit. Oh, yeah, the, the, what's the other one? You don't remember that one? It's cold outside. You don't remember that? <laughs> he had that on there too, bro. It's cold outside. They was snapping on that too. Yeah, he yeah. was underrated, dog. Yeah, Lou. you know, back in the day at Def Jam, it was either him or Triple J. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But they yeah. couldn't really sell Triple J. Triple J was a yeah real street nigga. Yeah, it so. was too. I mean, come on, look, look where Luda went now. They was able to yeah. to market him. He was more animated. Yeah. He was more... That's where the baby get that that, that music production yeah, yeah. video from. Yeah, he like, de- definitely him. He got he definitely got that. You see, he got a little bit of mixture of Luda, Busta Rhymes, mm-hmm. and Missy Elliott. Yeah, he killing the game right now. A lot of yeah. people calling him to do their videos and shit. Yeah, yeah he directed the videos. He could put like, the rap down for a little while. He could. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. go ahead and do that. All right. Whoa. So what we giving the people today? What are we going to give them, man? We're going to do the top five songs of all time. Your top, top five songs. Top bro. five. It's hard. It took, it, top five. It took me a long time, though. Of all times. It could, it, could, it could do something to you. You could know every lyric. Oh, yeah. Or it's just, when you hear it, it's just like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to listen to it two or three times in a row. Yeah, yeah, for so sure. You can go. It ain't got to be no certain order. No certain order, because I can't five. put them yeah, in yeah, order, yeah, dog. Yeah, so you gonna give you on my list, one. number one. Number one on my list, Ball Greasy featuring Iceberg, Since You've Been Away. 
Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, your number one, one nigga. See, it's your uh, number one. I'm gonna I'm go with, I'm gonna go with, um, Boosie Mind of a Maniac. Damn. That one right there for me. You came yeah. with it. I wasn't even thinking about Boosie. That one right there, when that come on, it's just like, to me, that's, to me, that's my be- my favorite Boosie song. That and maybe Crayola. But yeah. I put Man Mind of a Maniac over that. That was definitely a good song. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to fuck you up with this one. You probably don't even, a lot of y'all probably don't even know who, who Chevy P is. I ain't never heard of Chevy P. That's crazy. Yes, you did. He I'm changed his name when he got out of the group because Ludacris owned they fucking, they okay, name. Okay, okay. It's Phil Mob. Oh, Remember okay, Smoke okay. from Phil Mob? Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He changed yeah, his yeah, name okay. to Chevy P after the group, right? And he yeah. got a song called, that's number two on my list, Chevy P, So Lonely. Hard that song. Sick of being lonely, is it? Nah, no. that's different. It's called it's so, lonely. so Lonely. So Lonely, okay. Man, it's hard, I'm bro. It, it's hard, bro. It's All hard right. for sure. So what I got? I had Boosie, Mono, Maniac. Yeah, yeah. My number two, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with uh. Future, where I'm from. That right there. You right got there. to school me on that yeah, one, bro. I don't where I'm from. It's just the. It's just the it got Zaytoven on that, so you know them piano keys on it. It's just something yeah. about the whole song. I'm gonna have to let you listen to that. Bit. That be right there make you feel like yeah, okay. Okay, put me on, put me on. All right, number three on my list. This the one right here, boy. Trick free st- featuring Mystical, trying to stop the smoke. Oh yeah, yeah. classic. Hey, hey, he said, I know how you roll. I'll roll them down. Y'all roll them dirty, dirty. dirty. <laughs> Come on, man, that's classic. Yeah. That's All right, real gonna go with that. Right I'm gonna go with my number three. It, um, my number three, uh, Trick Daddy, back in the days. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That right there, like if oh, yeah. you listen to Trick, you gotta know back in the days. That's yeah, like a, yeah. It's like it's like a it's a big song, but then it ain't because it wasn't no industry song. But in the mm-hmm. hood, we knew it. Everybody knew that. Everybody so, knew that. Yeah, yeah. I was a Trick fan forever, bro. Yeah. I couldn't buy Trick. My mama wouldn't let me get Trick Daddy CD. <laughs> so my cousin, my cousin, yeah. she used to we used to trade. CDs and shit. Yeah, you feel me? So I give her something, she'll give me something. You know, ain't nobody from the body kids a, a black dude drilling his gold yeah. teeth. Yeah. Like, what is yeah. it? <laughs> My mama wasn't having it. Yeah. So we got number four. Number four. I got Tupac staring through my rear view. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. That's definitely a top five Tupac song. Yeah. Hey, Yo, so, number four. I'm gonna go number four. I'm going artist for artist with you. Mine gonna be Tupac, Life of an Outlaw. Mm, classic. You hear that? And just at the end when they let that music ride, bro, that yeah. just, yeah. I could listen to that like four times. We probably should have did more than five. I got a lot. A lot. We gonna, we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do another one. We're going right. to pick an artist and then we're going to do our top five or top 10 from that artist. Mm. All so right. That make it even a little bit more difficult. All right. Because a lot of these artists, dog, they got, they got, they got discographies. Yeah. Man. Big ones. Like I, you could say a two part whole CD. All right, this one, this this one go. Number five? Number five. Don't judge me, all right? <laughs> Ladies, y'all gonna feel this one, though. You feel me? Kiki Wyatt featuring Avant, Nothing in This World. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to check That's that the one. song right I'm there. Gonna to, you got to play that at the wedding. Yeah, I'm going to have to ask feel my wife. She heard that one. Oh, she she, she know, it. know it. I guarantee That's it. That's crazy, bro. Our last our last three is, like, the same. Like, you, yeah. had, you had Trick. I had Trick. I had, you had Tupac, I had Tupac. Who you got? Then you had... What you finna pick, like, Mariah Carey, nigga? Nah, man. It's gonna really pick. mess y'all up, man. Num- my number five, Kurt Franklin, Melodies. Okay. Yeah, the Kurt melodies for... Bro, <laughs> to, me, to me, that's the that's the most... That's the best orchestrated song yeah. I ever heard, bro. Just yeah. the way... People sleep had, on Kurt. The way they had, he had everybody layering on that drunk, bro. Like... Yeah. Every time I listen to it, bro, that junk like that junk. You seen his documentary? Songs. No, I ain't seen. Y'all need to watch that. We might watch it and review it. We gonna have your Kleenex it. though. Have what? Your Kleenex ready? Oh, Kleenex. It's gonna make you cry, dog. All right, I'm gonna have to check that. It's out. good We're though. Have to talk about that. Yeah, it's good. Another episode. So yeah, that's the top five right there. Bro, I got a lot more. You got more? What's just give us some of them? What, what, what Iceberg. I get so high. That, that's got to be on my bonus Yeah, that's got to be on my list. Iceberg. I get so high. That's classic. Or Iceberg, I'm on my way. That nigga been on his way for about 20 years, but that, that nigga still coming still with coming. it. But straight up, straight up. That's that's one of my favorites. But it was hard to pick five, dog. Hey, what's that? What's that song back in the days? They had a they they had a remix where it had I think it was Memphis Bleak. 
And then they had a bunch of people on Round Hill. Round Hill. Round Hill had, had Trick Daddy on it. Trick Daddy had yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. on that. That's Miss Bleak, Round Hill. That's back in the days when everybody used to everybody used to click up. Everybody That's when music was different, bro. Yeah, even though it was New York, they had a remix and they put somebody yeah. from Midwest they, or somebody from, from Dallas. Dallas. Truthfully, they'll go and grab everybody. Everybody each coast and put right. everybody on it. That's who kinda like put me on to like Papoose. Um your boy K Slay had a Slay. had a song with Boosie, Webby. And Papoose, yeah. probably one of the most underrated songs of all time, bro. Yeah, that jump be crazy. Cause bro, Boosie came on there. One thing that flip, bro. One thing I cannot understand was when people like, not probably now, but back then when they used to say artists from the south wasn't lyrical, and I just don't, I don't understand it, bro. If you're thinking about people like Boosie, even right. Trick Daddy, bro. Pimp C and them. Pimp C, come on, Them man. boys was come lyrical, on, bro. Yeah, they, very they much had so. lyrics. So every every artist I listen to, Juvie, Juvie was bro, underrated, bro. I don't understand how they could say they not lyrical. Even Kodak, Kodak, he knew, but he's still lyrical, bro. Like very yeah, lyrical. He talked. It might sound country to some people, bro, but he got lyrics. Bro. He do. Like, he do. It got substance to it. And I ain't gonna lie. At first, I ain't really, I couldn't really rock with it, right? And then one day, I got. Toe up. Hey. I'm talking about from the flow up. I'm talking yeah. about. And then I listened to it, bro. I was like, yo. I think my first Jit is that amazing, song was on, bro. I think it was Project Baby or something, but he was. It was that whole one. album he was, was crazy. In, he was in a on playground and he was rapping. I was like, he sounded oh, yeah. like Soda Slim. The yeah, Soda yeah, Slim yeah, yeah, flow. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I was like, Jit right here going to be big. Yeah. I was telling my cousin, I'm like, hey, y'all ever heard of this dude? Like, no. Nah. Like, listen, he sound like Soda Slim. I'm like, I normally could spot him early, dog. Like, I know who's going to be blow. I used to always tell myself, like, yeah, he was right. the hardest thing coming out of Pompano since, well, well, we're going to say Broward because Ace Hood, Ace Hood was yeah. in Deerfield, yeah, you feel me? Deerfield, but, but, you know, he, he kind of got blackballed in the game, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I used to always do that, bro. Like, the weekend, I was on the weekend before he became the weekend, like, before he even got close to Drake. Right. I, I used to just go and look for, like, underground artists. But see, it ain't underground artists now. It, it don't really count as underground, bro, because they... They on YouTube and they blowing up. Yeah, like. so it's it's really no underground no more. With YouTube, Dang. there's no such thing as underground. It's right. You put it out there, you build your fan base, and mm -hmm. you could be just as big as anybody. Like, right. You went. You you. They ain't got to really put that thousand views. You straight. They ain't really got to put that work in and go to the uh the labels Label, and shit no more. Nah, be your own Label way, coming man. to them now. You know what I'm saying? But, Independence. Yeah. Best way to go. But you might the, the label do certain things that. A lot of independent, they definitely got the independent people don't know how to yeah, do like they definitely got the, the advertisement machine. and everything. Yeah, like they're that. gonna put the bag behind you. You're gonna have to pay it back. But if you want to fast track and get there quick, then yeah, the label they gonna yeah. drop the bag on you. Cause everybody can't be Dolph. Nigga. Yeah, and everybody can't. Or your boy. A lot of people don't even know your boy Tech Nine. Your boy Tech Nine oh, yeah. was getting money too. Yeah, he making a lot of money now with tech with yeah. tech type stuff and like. Mm -hmm. I think he got. He like was like selling his merch now. too. Yeah, yeah, his merch. His merch he got a whole warehouse like merch. If you're an artist, get merch. You feel me? If your music, if if, if your music doing good, why not make more money? I think he in the Bay merch. now, but I think that nigga from like Arkansas. Yeah, shit. he from somewhere like like weird, like in the middle of somewhere. Yeah, that shit say Arkansas. That shit say Arkansas. Arkansas. It's Arkansas. Hey, this is like uh, this is like uh, uh Missouri. Yeah, uh, Kansas Missouri. City. You yeah, got Kansas City and Missouri, and you got Kansas City in Kansas. It's the same <laughs> city, but it's just so big that they got it in two states. It's like, yeah, it used to mess me up when I used to watch Cops. That's what I used to say. <laughs> so we could say Kansas City, Missouri, and I was another Kansas City. What? But it's weird. Hey, Kansas City different from Kansas, boy. I tell you that. Yeah, I used to drive through there scared. Ten to two. Ten. <laughs> Ten to two. I used to drive through that motherfucker. That's scared, bro. For real. Tell them they don't know what 10 and 2 is. That's the clock. Yeah. Hand on the wheel. 10 and 2. That ain't shit. Yeah, man. With that, mm -hmm. that music, man, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and drop my eyes, man. And just go ahead and put it out there. This nigga sleep on himself. Sleep on himself. Tripping. It'd be a, it's, it's shit, be hard. Like a, little, a little hobby I'd be doing, but everybody keep telling me drop, man. So I'm going to drop. Y'all going to hear some of it probably in the intro. And. When we do like a, a spotlight, music spotlight, artist mm -hmm. spotlight, we'll do that and we'll. Put some of y'all over on there if y'all want. Just hit us up, and we'll we'll do a spotlight on y'all. We'll play y'all, let y'all know how we feel about it, let you know 
you know, we ain't just ain't gonna dog you out. I'm gonna tell you where you where what you where you should improve or you should have mm-hmm. did it like this. You feel me? Like it'll be harder like this, whatever. He'll live the more calm. I'm gonna tell you that shit trash. Yeah, yeah he gonna he gonna, gonna grab the trash can, cuz. Yeah. And I'm, but I'm gonna tell you how to make it not trash. If you tell <laughs> you it's trash, I'm gonna tell you like, look, do it like this, man. Yeah. Hey, might hit me up for a little consultation, bro. Cause I, I got an ear for it, bro. I can listen to a beat in the first five seconds. I could already know like how to flow. But don't be scared beat, though. Man. Bring it, yeah, dog. You bring know, it. we gonna critique it. See what's Take up with criticism, it. the criticism, man. Like, yeah. You feel me? You might think you're the hardest thing in the world, but it just might be one thing that you need to improve on that'll take you to the next level, and you might not know it. You feel me? It yeah. might be something that I need to switch up or whatever. Somebody, y'all didn't hear it. Y'all might say it's hard. Or y'all might be like, hey, nah, you're on the wrong key. There might be somebody out there that's more into music, more musically inclined than I am. It might tell mm-hmm. me, and I'll, okay, switch it. I'll always be trying to learn. How you got into that shit, though? Bro, I... First, I used to I used to make beats, and I just wanted to make beats. I don't know. bro. I started I started recording. Me and my homeboy started recording like middle school, back when, bro. We just had a computer, and it had a sound recorder on the computer, mm. so you could only hit and just record. Right. It ain't no tracks, nothing. So we had to take the speaker with the beat and record it and our voice at the same time. So that's oh, how man. we started. It started doing like that, bro. Just playing around, playing around, and like I got on the beats, so I started making beats. And it was like I ain't got nobody to rap on the beats. I'm just making them, so right. I just started rapping on my own beats. Mm. And then that made me learn how to mix, do engineering. Mm. So that made me learn how to do that, just doing myself. And then I would record for people uh, like my homeboys, the cousins. We just playing around. You feel me? I like. I just love to do it. Uh, Oh, how you made me sound like that? They're doing chopping screws, like the hard way. Mm-hmm. Not now. Bro, you, they got buttons, no, like, I'm going to mess you up right here. You know what chopping screw originated at? I just came from Miami, bro. My nigga. Yes, yeah, sir. A lot of people think it's Houston. That. Nah, nah. They, they came down here and grabbed that. Down, for that, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah that shit from Miami. You know, they, they, you know, it started down slow down there, but... It's we, fast now. We originally, if you hear that sped up Jersey stuff and all that, bro... That been that been Florida for a long time. They might have been doing it in Jersey too, but right. bro, 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 I know it's for a lot sure. Of stuff. Kodak, a lot. Kodak, them had a lot of sped up stuff. Coley P, they had a lot of sped up. Even stuff. before then, bro, you don't remember um, bro, they had peanut butter jelly. It oh was yeah, sped that's up, Palm Beach, was, nigga. It was, it's Palm Beach niggas made that peanut butter jelly. Me? It's it's fast. Ray Low. Yeah, Ray so Lope. like they got that and like just the whole juking and bopping, bro, like. That's Florida, bro. Like a lot of people up north doing it now. You feel me? Like some of the stuff I see them doing, getting sturdy, bro. That's joking and bro. Yeah. That's joking and bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, can't yeah. say that, bro. You go back on YouTube and search up, search up. Um, I'm so high. Uh, uh Oakland Park flea market, <laughs> and you are gonna see them boys in there doing that. You all gonna be like, oh, it gets sturdy. Nah, yeah. bro, they been doing that, bro. Yeah. Like, boys well, been hitting been that shit. Yeah. yeah. Dad. Them niggas was dancing before dancing was cool. Exactly. You hear me? That yeah. Was, that's the thing. They was dancing. Yeah, I saw been on that shit. And he was like, dang, he, that boy down there dancing. What the heck he doing? Grabbing <laughs> homeboy hand dancing and going and shoot you the next 30 minutes. Come on and rob you. <laughs> <laughs> they hitting the crazy dancing there. Crazy. Come shoot your ass. Nigga, facts. Hey, that shit, that's a segue into something that's probably more iconic that put Palm Beach on the map. Gangsters and thugs. For sure. If y'all ain't for from sure. Florida and y'all seen Gangsters and Thugs. That yeah, was Palm yeah. Beach at a time. Yeah, Palm Beach. That shit was wild. It your was boy, crazy. your boy, um, your boy Van Dam and them and the shit was talking about that shit. They went to South by Southwest and shit. Yeah. Little Dirk stepped to him was like, Man, you Van Dam from, yeah, from you feel me from Gangsters and yeah, Thugs. All man, that shit crazy. They started a whole trend, bro. Man, yeah. I remember when I seen that, yeah. I was like, I was like. It was weird was because wild, it, it made you be like, dang, we messed up down here. But it made you proud to be from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so proud to be from Palm Beach. I knew all them niggas on the DVD. Red Joe was crazy. All them niggas on the DVD, man. You know yeah. how they be like, oh, oh, everybody want to own. They have them commercials now where vacation here and you see Palm Beach. <laughs> vacation here. But don't go across that track in Tamron. Hey, be careful, man. <laughs> be careful. And them boys was robbing people. Yeah. You, you couldn't even stop at Tamron. Bro. That track, you better keep going. Bro, Red light, keep going. On, on my mama, we going to church one Sunday. I seen a cracker get snatched out of Miata. 
<laughs> he ain't had time to put that bitch in park. park nigga yeah. snatched him out that shit. That bitch was rolling. Nigga hopped in. He hopped in and took off. Yeah, that drone was wild. Mama took off right bro. behind the car. We going to church. We ain't see nothing. You heard? But yeah, them boys was wild at the time. It's yeah. still wild now, bro, but it's a lot more. Because even a little bit after It's them, dirtier now, like. Yeah, yeah. Homeboys crossing homeboys yeah, and shit. Like back it, then, it, was, it ain't no unity. Yeah. Was like, yeah. back then, it'd be a group of people doing all this. Right. Now it's just like, hey, you're doing it together. You might snitch on you or you might. And truthfully, you're supposed to be safe if, if that's your hood. I moved away for a little bit, messing around, went to Orlando, moved back. Tell them where you're from. If anybody from Palm Beach watching, Windsor, days. nigga. <laughs> Windsor, nigga. From Windsor Ave. Y'all know my little brother. But yeah, we uh, I moved back from Orlando, bro, probably a weekend on my same street. Same street I've been on. Got robbed, though. That's when I knew it was a different place. Like, bro. hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. This I got me. robbed. Yeah. At that's, home. That shit was crazy. That's crazy. Because, you know, on your street, you never think, you know, at a certain time, bro, back then, bro, we ain't really need fire like that. You know what I'm saying? No, we'll we'll throw hands or yeah, whatever. You have to, you're going to fight. But nah, you. don't. Don't get caught. Don't, 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 be, don't caught be playing. Been without it. Yeah, don't be playing. But we got him. But yeah, man. So, but yeah, I knew it was a different place from then, bro. Like, like I got robbed on my same street, dog. I'm like, damn, it's different now. Like, yeah, yeah. Kind of be 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 a little bit more on point, especially now I got kids now, dog. So you know, yeah, like, that's gonna change, right? You, you got you got think different. You got to move different. Choices yeah. you make ain't just for you no more. You got to make choices like a. Hey, all right, yeah. you messing with me right now? I could knock you out. <laughs> Let's see, instead, Boy, and with the gangsters, right with the gangsters and thugs too, that put a lot of Palm Beach music on the map. Yeah, that's there's a lot yeah, of good yeah, music yeah, on, yeah, that, yeah. Bitch. on that. They did it. They did it smart. They did that, but then they was putting everybody on by putting their music on too. Yeah, if you was around the gangsters and thug era, you already know, nigga, cool, Kate, Suave, Smooth, and yeah, niggas yeah, running yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you niggas grew up in that era, then yeah, you were uh. You you a citizen of the Florida Boy Podcast. You yeah. certified gator. <laughs> certified you, gator. You a certified that. gator. Drop yeah, the gators yeah. in the comment, man. Yeah. yeah, that definitely was a time to be alive. Like when I got onto local music, oh, it was a rap. Yeah, like that's all I would listen to. First yeah. local people I ever heard was and boy and my cousin. It was this group called OTC, mm. and we was listening to them. And then he had a he had the cassette. It had them and it had bootleg on it. Mm, like, bootleg for sure. So yeah, that was yeah, bad. Yeah. Bootleg and those Troll that. Yeah. yeah. Them. I was like, okay, okay. Then then after that, that's when I started getting into Suave Smooth. Mm. Yeah, them parts. I went to school with that nigga. What they do. <laughs> the school that they, they had so at them times, them two, it was naughty heads. You feel me? When they weren't robbing shit. But <laughs> they had the naughty head MG. Yeah. You feel me? But yeah, bro, like all them niggas, man. That yeah. music, music was good then, bro. Yeah, and it felt it good. Like you had to go to the flea market to catch one of them niggas on the street. To yeah, cause shit. like listening to it, it sounded like you. We had superstars from where we was from. Yeah, like, you hear everybody else like we had the no limit, mm. the slip and slide, the cash money. But then when you heard like, oh yeah, we yeah. we we got something too. Yeah, for whatever reason, just it never popped it never like popped that. Off, man, like yeah. it's a lot of people doing music. It's a lot more people doing music now. Like. It's probably thousands of people from Palm Beach doing music. I ain't never heard of. Them. Everybody want to rap. It was like a, a good five, maybe ten or less. Well, y'all people, niggas gotta man. tighten up, man. We gotta get some shit out here, bro. Cause these little island niggas, bro. Yeah. I don't know them niggas. You know them niggas. Oh, I don't nah, know where nah, them niggas nah, nah. from. They talk, yeah. They said Palm Beach, but I ain't nah. never. Seen, nah. You heard me? But these niggas getting money. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, man we gotta tighten up, man. Drop some doing, hot they shit. They doing a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah. Too, yeah. Oh yeah, they playing with balls. He's doing yeah, all type of stuff. But, but um, you know, you know, buddy. Um, I think, I think, buddy. I want to say, um, is Drew didn't film it. Yeah. I I want to say somebody told me he's from. He went to Boynton High. For real? Yeah. He killing know, it. I don't right know now. if he's from Palm Beach, but I think somebody told me that he, he went, killing he it. He right went now. to Boynton High for like a year or something like that. But yeah, he snapping. He, he killing he it killing right now. It. I ain't know him like that until Jack Boy was on his little wave. Yeah. Like trying yeah. to make make well, it. If, if you from Florida, you coming up, that's like that's like a goal. 
Right. You know how back then, like, I got to get this DJ on my mixtape. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to get a video from, from Drew, mm-hmm. man. Shout out to that boy, Drew. Yeah, that nigga hard. Because Drew didn't film it. It wasn't film right. It wasn't film <laughs> right. For real. He just did your boy. Your boy boss man, D-Lo. Yeah, yeah. The finesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah D-Lo. Boss man, D-Lo. He, he coming up, man. He hard. Like, it's weird because it's like that whole that whole little way like Wiz having and um and um, Boston Richie was like a new wave mm-hmm. of sound in Florida and now he like another sound new sound he like a little sub genre from them so right. it's like okay it's it's going in the good but it's like it shift from South Florida now it's like Central and North Florida now mm-hmm. they got the wave but it's all Florida it's all the home team. Like, yes, yeah, I listen to all back these down. niggas, man. Moot Boy, you know, in yeah, Orlando. Boy. You ever heard of Tony Boy? Tony Boy. Tony Boy hard. I I, Tony I, I used hard. to remember Tony Boy back when he was on Facebook, like when he kind of first started. Yeah. Man, he had like, he had that little, um, the juice haircut. Yeah. You know, he had a juice haircut with <laughs> yeah, like the blonde yeah. or something like I that. I think he did a, he did a, a whole like juice type of mixtape. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, it was a paid in full mixtape he did. Yeah, he used to always go live on he from the old ain't it? Yeah. Orlando. Yeah, I used yeah. to always go. I think I got on to him from my cousin. He hard, Orlando bro. Or something like that. I used to watch a lot of a lot of YouTube, you know, Polo Poo who who fought with Yak and Coley. Uh-huh. He was in the studio with that nigga and that nigga was just like uh Listening to some uh, uh, his music and shit, man, that shit was hard. That's when I started listening to a nigga going to get his mixtapes and yeah, shit. He yeah. hard as fuck. Yeah. He he like he like um Moot Boy Protege, dog. He came yeah. up on the been and he been at it for a long time, bro. Yeah. Like mid two thousand. Yeah. He yeah. one of them niggas though. He too gangster. They ain't yeah. gonna be able to market yeah. that shit. I think remember one video I seen he was throwing money off the balcony or something. Yeah. He's to the kids and shit. <laughs> yeah. They um that that was just like Boosie, bro. Boosie was hard to market. You feel me? Yeah. So they stole a lot of Fox shit. Well, I know they stole Wipe Me Down for sure. Right. They gave it to him. Gave it to him. You feel me? Try to market them a little bit. Because he ha- he couldn't handle he had no single. Yeah. Cause but Zoom little did they know. Really. Yeah. In the hood, he was all, he was everything yeah. in the hood. Yeah. They would have just been like, all right, put it mainstream. Like we was already listening to him. Right. You feel me? Like yeah. Boosie was already probably you fuck with Fox. Street. You fuck with Fox. Fox a million. Fox first album is a hood classic, bro. Yeah, his I first mean, album classic. I back in um with T Pain on that. We had MySpace. Yeah, see if Damn, y'all just on MySpace, y'all probably MySpace. oh I know Kick. Nah, MySpace man. Hey, if you was on Facebook, if you was on MySpace, you know how to code. You a certified. We we've been code. Yeah, you a certified gator. <laughs> yeah, if you were at MySpace, and then when they mess around and put where well, you can put a song on there. Yeah. Man, I yeah. had that uh Trill fan adios. That was that shit. Oh, I yeah. saw him go on my page. That's, that's what I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times, man. But his first, day, his first man. album was the shit though. Yeah, it's very, very slept on, dog. His first album. All them boys fat. Yeah, fat was hard. Yeah. Fat was hard. Big head. They said big, big head. head went when his own way started doing other shit. That boy Donkey Fire, he was Donkey, he was crazy, huh? Yeah. Oh, he, he, he changed his life. Yeah, he a preacher now. He, yeah, he, he changed his life. It's crazy because he probably was the wildest one out of all. He, he was probably more wild than Boosie. Yeah, 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 for sure. He, he was. You look like that, you had to be. Because you know somebody for the try, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, looking yeah, like yeah. how Donkey look. That nigga was a wild nigga, dog. You no, know he had to be. He looked like, you. if if I was in Louisiana visiting and I was somewhere and I seen him, like, yeah, let's stay away from him. Don't make <laughs> Him mad, <laughs> he looked like he with it. Yeah, nigga, at all yeah. times. Goddamn, hey, that's just like uh, how your boy, how your boy was looking on on yeah. BMF. The last episode, episode, the new episode I just showed, Braxton. Who, who, oh yeah, that's how everybody know the man. Yeah. That's messed up. They yeah. don't know him by Braxton. Yeah, but you, no, you, you don't remember seeing him in uh with the do rag original gangsters, nigga. Do rag, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah he been on that. Yeah. Hey, Braxton was gangster before he went yeah. to the Braxton Jamie Foxx show. Dude. He yeah. had some gangster parts. Yeah, that, that's crazy, right? But yeah, there, it was man. crazy. I seen him pop up on that last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah that BMF. They, I feel like it's it's good. It's, it's good. Fifty doing this thing. Though, yeah, man. yeah. I didn't know where it was gonna go with season three. Yeah, he. That shit. It's crazy because like even with that, even with raising cans, like mm-hmm. he, he put he putting like real life characters in that thing. Yeah, and that's what's making it like it's easier to like it and get hooked on it because whether you know it or not, if it's real people, it just it just seemed like genuine, bro. Like mm. the people, T baby mama, real life. I think her name. is 
Lil Wanda in the movie is Ronda. You feel me? Like he tried to keep everything as close as possible he can. You know. Yeah, you see how your girl Lala did him too, right? You stupid ass nigga. Fucked up by this bitch. <laughs> you moved this bitch to a big ass house. She don't even she want you no more. She ain't want her no more. Bro, I would have whacked her. Oh man. Man, look. And then he gonna then he gonna go back to to the baby mama talking about I'm done. I'm a, <laughs> man, you know, see his Lala come, he out of there again, man. He go. He go. He, he Southwest T. He throw. go. Southwest T throw. Nah. He right back over there. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I yeah I, I think I'm a I'm gonna like this this season, man. It, this this one gonna be hard because now he's starting to get established in Atlanta mm-hmm. to get to where the big meets we all knew. Yeah, like, yeah. Nobody really know about the what Detroit. we've been seeing. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just remember in the height of Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. meets. That's what I'm waiting for. Them boys started making rain. Yeah, making it rain in the club yeah. and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Them boys buying started all that the shit. bottles. Yeah, nobody came by none because they didn't brought all of it <laughs> like crazy. Got niggas mad in the club. Yeah, like that, I can't wait till I see that part. Of that that, that, that be, but you see, you see the on who they got playing the older Meech in it. Remember he was in jail. Like yeah, 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 yeah. I remember seeing him in some movies too. But yeah, yeah, I think they finna use him a certain part. Little Meech gonna be gone once he become once he get the big Meech. Yeah, but yeah. he doing a good job though. You feel me for his first time acting? Yeah, he doing a good. But see, time. that's the thing. Fifty when it got him years ago, right? And put him in acting, acting school class. shit. Yeah, boom, got yeah. him right. Yeah, he do. He 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 good at that shit. He do it. Two chains got me dying in that bitch. I'm dying. Yeah, watching two that chains. Bitch. I'm dying. <laughs> it's supposed to have. I think it's supposed to have on uh, who else in there? Sweetie, sweetie, supposed Sweetie's to be in there. Her fine ass. Hey, and she supposed to be in there. Uh, Ain't no time. They got Neo in there looking crazy with the hairpiece, man. They should have just let them ball hit it. Like, have him with a pimp hat or on or something. They gonna go and put 22 piece on him. They got finger wave. wave. Yeah. The finger wave with the, with the bump. Like, oh, man. Uh, look at Neo you looking all zesty, nigga. Yeah, come on, man. I'd have been mad at 50. For real. Yeah, he, 50 been having some crazy hairdos now because you see how Snoop Dogg hair was. Yeah, 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 yeah. When he was a preacher, he looked just <laughs> like how two chains look, <laughs> trying to hide the dreads balled up in the back. Like, oh lord, y'all crazy, man. There's some stuff in there, and, but it's some stuff you notice in BML. I'm like, they ain't had that back then. Yeah, yeah, back yeah. in the freaking well, what it was, what they was like late '80s and early '90s. Yeah. Kinda. Now they kind of like getting closer to the to the late '90s. Mm-hmm. But there was some stuff in there. I'm like, man, they ain't had that. Era. But it, I it, think right now. I think they came to Atlanta around the Freak Nick, bro, like 96, 97. Right, man. right, right, right. And then he just blew up. BMF was like 2004, 5. That's when yeah, they that's was, when they were bamming. That's when they was in the midst of it, the height of it. But yeah, yeah. like Lil Jit, you know, Lil Jit that the uh, little sister like. Yeah. He got dreads with the curly dreads. They started doing that joint until like <laughs> now. And she was like, I actually told them, man, they, they, they used to do that. They had dreads back then. I'm like, they had dreads back then, but not that style. Like, back yeah. then, if somebody had dreads, they either had real long dreads or they had, like, free form. Mm. They might have been thrown in a point of but styling dreads ain't really come to, like, mid-2000s, something like that, bro. Like, that's when I, I know it's, like, people start doing styling dreads, take the dreads and braid them. Yeah. Like, you know, them old school niggas when they dread, they ain't twist shit back up. No. Nah. They let that shit. Bro, you have gun whole, play, nigga. whole afro. Yeah, yeah, You feel yeah. that whole afro with the dreads on top. Like how gunplay shit was. That shit was wicked up, nigga. Florida, nigga, I ain't getting hey. this shit twisted for nothing. Welcome Go to get Florida, an edge. Hey. That's it. Welcome to Florida where the, where the hair look like palm trees.